Hi folks, this is Gopal Kamath and today I am going to discuss the top 6 important reasons how you can be successful in the food business or in your restaurant business. So watch this video till the end because these simple 6 things if you focus on are going to ensure that you will be successful in the food business. You will make a lot of money, you will make a lot of profits, you will create a lifestyle for yourself, you will create wealth for yourself provided you save the money and invest it and most importantly you'll be happy so a uh, lot of times i get this in my coaching program as well as in my uh, other uh, coaching activities sir how what are the things we should focus on when we are running a restaurant so these are the six things which i believe out of my 20 years of experience have been the most important pillars for success in a food business by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Gopal Kamat. I am a restauranter and the founder of Get Your Restaurant, where we teach you how to start your own successful restaurant business. And if you really want to learn how to start a restaurant business, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that every video which we come up will be shown to you, which you can see. And you can learn a lot by sitting in your house or wherever you are and uh, open a successful food business by the way at the end of this video i am also going to tell you about my coaching program where i teach you one on one on how to start your food business but before that let's go to the topic of the day which is six secrets to succeed in the restaurant food business so why i have, why i am calling it as a restaurant as well as a food business is because uh, although we call it as a restaurant business now it has broken down into so many different different uh, types of restaurants rather there are small restaurants big restaurants ac restaurants non ac restaurants lounge bars uh, semi ac restaurants we have the cloud kitchen the home kitchen uh, the dhaba you know sky is the limit there are so many uh, types of restaurant businesses that's why it is called as the restaurant as well as the food business so with that said let's move at the first most important thing which will help you to succeed in the food business you have to save money while you are building your own food business or a restaurant. So the number one thing is be a conjus while building your restaurant. I have seen this rookie mistake being done by so many people when they are starting their restaurant. They go crazy when they, when they get a loan or when they you know borrow from somebody or when they are putting in their own money. They think of the restaurant as if they are making their own house. You know, ye wala Italian marble lagao, ye lagao, mehenga se mehenga AC lagao. Achha se achha crockery cutlery lo. So, you have to be very, very calculative when you are putting your capital in your restaurant business. There are very important uh, reasons why. Firstly, whatever money you are going to save, you, are, you can use it later in your working capital as well as while promoting your restaurant. It is not that once you open a restaurant, within the second day itself, it will start making money. So, you need some little bit uh, cash to be preserved in order to uh, sustain for those period till the time you are profitable that is number one and i mean it is this is not your house and uh, this is this is not personal it is a business where you are going to put in where people are going to come and they are going to eat and they are going to give you money so you have to be you have to make it look good but with as less capital as possible that is the first most important thing second is build relationship with with customers lot of times what happens is the owners, once they open a restaurant and people start uh, liking their food, what they do is they they think that, oh my God, now we have, we have reached the thing. It's not like that. All restaurants are giving good food, but the restaurants which win have good relationships with their customers. Their managers and customers are with good. They know their owners and, you know, it's a very trust formed relationship which ensures that the customer comes to you again and again. First time the customer will come to you, you will see, the guest will come to you, you will see how things are. And once they develop a faith, they develop a trust in you, they will come again and again and that is where the profit is, you know. So, just talk to people, ask them, you get a lot of feedback also from your customers. But the main important thing is customers feel welcomed. See, there are a lot of restaurants where a customer can go and have food. Why will he come to your restaurant? Okay, your food is good, your ambience is good, but that relationship and the trust building is the extra cherry on top which will make sure that the customer will come to you and will have food. The third thing is 
have patience and persistence. I have seen lot of restaurant owners who closed one or two months before they were become, going to become successful. They had just reached there, but they lost patience or they were not persistent enough in order to carry forward. If they would have hold for another one or two months, you know, they would have broken through. Because what happens is a lot of times when you close a restaurant, then you get a lot of customers calling you, we want to come to your restaurant and you know, and then you say, oh my God, ban kyu kiya. So, you should have patience. I mean, it's not about closing every time, but a lot of times you should have patience for the initial six to months to one year till your restaurant starts picking up and it starts making profits. So, uh, the first uh, two or three months when you open up, a lot of people will come and have food at your restaurant because it is new. People want to try it out. That is when your quality and your relationship will be tested, your quality of uh, food, your quality of ambience, your quality of uh, service will be tested. And that is how you start forming, you, you are in the process of creating loyal customers. But, but that is also the time when you will face a lot of challenges as far as your cash is concerned, your vendors is concerned, your staff is concerned because everything is getting, everything is getting uh, set in a particular format. So, it is going to take time and you have to hold for those particular days. Yeah. Fourth is manage your cash effectively. Lot of times what happens is people do not manage their cash properly. They are not paying their staff on time. They are not paying their vendors on time. You know, their rent is due. They are using that money to for their personal expenses. This is not, not how you do it. And this is a clear cut way of making sure that your restaurant will go smooth when you handle your cash properly. So, always handle your cash properly. Fifth is tight grip on purchases. As the uh, saying goes, money saved is money earned. So, make sure that your money, whatever money you are saving, try to find out where can I find this cheap, where can I find this cheap, where can I get the vegetable cheap, where can I get the thing cheap. Because every rupee which you save is your profit. You can use that money for uh, the next point which I am going to talk about. And you can make sure that you are preserving that amount which can be used later. Yeah. And then the sixth is always keep promoting your food. Gone are the days when, you know, there was just one or two restaurants in the Mohalla and everybody used to come and have food there. Now there are ample restaurants, ample cloud kitchens, ample home kitchens, ample Dabbawala services, you name it. Zomato Swiggy, they themselves have also started their food businesses. So, it is a very, very competitive thing. So, come up with new combos, new items and make sure that you promote them as much as possible because that is what is what people are going to remember. That is how people are going to know about your restaurant and that will give them an opportunity to come to your restaurant. Once they are in your restaurant, then your relationship with the customers should take over and make sure that they keep on coming to you again and again. Now, the seventh bonus which uh, bonus tip which I believe is going to make sure that you are successful is keep a daily income and expense supervision. You know, read whatever uh, uh, expenses are there. Keep a tab on the expenses because what happens is if you do not have focus on the finances day to day, things try to, uh, things happen and you know, there are, lot, uh, there are chances of theft or pilferages. So, make sure you know you keep on asking your manager or if you are writing it, there is no problem. But if, you, if your manager is writing it, keep on asking, are you a Kali cylinder mangaita, aaj office cylinder ki mangaita, kali bhaji mangaita, aaj office bhaji ki mangaita. Make sure that you know the sale and your expenses are proportionate enough. I am will not say equal, of course, your income will be more than your expenses, but it, those should be proportionate enough. Your expenses are more and your income, if it is less, then you should have stock in your uh, inventory. So, that is how things go. Keep an eagle eye on the finances and that will make sure that you are you are successful in the food business. I hope you uh, liked uh, uh, these seven steps. These are very, very important. And uh, if you would like to learn more about opening a food business or optimizing a food business, check out the link in the description. It will take you to my website where you can join my coaching program. I call it as the RLF coaching program, Restaurant Launch Formula Coaching Program. It is a step-by-step -step video program where I take you step-by-step -step on how to start, think about and uh, choose which concept to start, how, what, what should be your location and everything. And it takes you completely through the process of starting a food business, any kind of food business it might be. Plus, 
the coaching program the main highlight of the coaching program is each week i come live on tuesdays at 6 o'clock and we talk face to face so if you have any question there uh, you can ask me the question and i'll uh, solve your question that is uh, the uh, commitment which i am giving as far as teaching you how to start a food business it is not just like selling your course and going away but i want to be with you step by step all throughout the journey so that i can guide you so that you don't make the mistakes which you know i have made or which i have seen pe other people making and you can open a restaurant more effectively and become profitable as fast as possible so if you love this and want to go deeper join my rlf coaching program and uh, subscribe to this channel keep watching the videos ask questions you know i'd love to answer all your questions because the more interactive it is the more fun it becomes for me and it is a learning for me also i learn lot of things while uh, from you guys also so if you want to ask any questions just go in the comment section ask the question subscribe to the video join my rlf coaching program and i will see you in the next video bye bye